Hey guys, and my treasure hunter here. It is Sunday, October 2nd, and I'm back with another Pokemon Go video. Today we're going to be discussing and setting up PC locations based spoofing. Bluestacks did release a version that the newest Pokemon Go 3.9.1 is working on, so this is a good thing. First of all, if you've used Bluestacks in the past, you need to erase or delete the old version off your system. So I'm going to have the links in the description for all this, but we're going to go ahead and download the Bluestacks. This is the newest version. And we're going to go over here and also download the newest version of Pokemon Go, which is 0 0.39.1. Make note of where you download them to. Now, I didn't make note of where it was downloading to, it just downloaded to. So I'm just going to take that file. Just gonna drag it over to my desktop so it's easier to find. And blue stacks. I'm just gonna do the same, which is right here, and drag it to my desktop. So we have downloaded the newest version of Pokemon Go. You've downloaded the blue stacks, newest version. You have uninstalled your previous blue stacks if you got a previous version of blue stack installed on your PC. We're going to go ahead and start the installation. So we're going to go click on BlueStacks, hit run. This asks you where you want to install it. So pick your location. Okay, so this is where you have to set up basically just like any other Android device, you have to set up your Gmail. So anyways, I'm gonna cut this part out right here while I enter my Gmail address. Okay, so I entered my Gmail address and I'm just gonna unselect all this stuff. It's not a big deal. I don't care. Hit play or next. No thanks. I'm not gonna set this type of stuff up and you can put in a name whatever it's up to you all right so now we are at the main bluestacks interface now there is a pokemon go here but i'm not sure that this is the newest version that's why we downloaded over here I'm actually going to go ahead in this bluestacks tv exit out of that that's why i download the actual apk in case this one isn't the newest so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and first of all, we're going to set our location. The way that Knox and Bluestacks, I assume, works is basically it's more like it's location spoofing. So you're going to want to set up where you're going to spoof to. Got that set. Mock locations is on. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to come over here to the APK install. Click on that and you're going to select the Pokemon Go 3.9.1 um, from the location wherever you saved it. So obviously mine is on my desktop. I just got to find my desktop. Okay. And find the file right here. And go ahead and install it. It says that it has been installed. Now, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that because we need to do another step. Okay. So, it's showing up here that it's installed. If it doesn't show that it's installed, you can just click over here, All Apps, and you should see it in here. But what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of this because there's another important piece of data that needs to be changed, or a setting, I should say. No, I don't want to remember that. So what you got to do um, to turn off the camera, otherwise it's going to lock your Pokemon Go game up. So you have to do this. You come down here to your start button. You got your little field here. You type run. Once you've typed run, then you're going to type regedit. Ooh, this is getting scary. You got to edit your registry. So be very careful in here. Don't you know take your time you don't want to make a mistake when you're messing around with your reg registry <laughs> anyways 
I will have the path in the description of exactly which one, how to get to, and what you're going to change. But basically, I'm just going to go through it. But like I said, it'll be in the description. You're going to click on, double click on, HKEY Local Machine. Next, you're going to go down and you're going to find Software. And you're going to double click on that. Next, you're going to go down and you're going to find Blue Stacks. And double click on that. Next, you're going to click on Guests. And then double click on Android. And then double click on Config. Now, we are in the config file of BlueStacks. So now we have to go down and find the camera because the camera is what is set um, in BlueStacks as a default. It's going to make the game kind of freeze up. So we're going to go ahead and double click on that. And all that you need to do is this value is defaulted to 1. And we need to default it to 0. You just t simply highlight the 1 type in a zero and hit OK. It's as simple as that. You can just hit exit and now we're gonna start BlueStacks back up. Okay well it's time to start BlueStacks. So I'm gonna go and find it. Here it is, BlueStacks. This BlueStacks TV which is a standalone pop-up go ahead and just exit out of that. That's just an annoyance. Okay, so we got our Pokemon Go. Let's double check and make sure, absolutely sure that our location is still set. Yes, it is set. I'm going to go back to Android and going to go ahead and start Pokemon Go. Now, BlueStacks Light Knox is an Android emulator. You have to log into BlueStacks like when you log into an Android phone using a Gmail account. But after you get logged in, you actually can use a PTC account to play on um, Pokemon Go on BlueStacks. So this is going to get a little bit loud because the settings, I got to get into the program, get signed in until I can kill the sound. So just bear with me here. So we're going to go ahead and start Pokemon Go up. Same way with um, Nox, the WASD is used for moving around. Go ahead and just select any date as long as it is prior to 2006. No, sorry. As long as it is prior to 2003. And hit submit. Um, I'm going to pause this and put in a trainer club account. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So and let me just kill this music it's just so loud here anyways so first of all I'm gonna show you kill the music that this is true 039.1 so you got all the options nothing is blocked this is actually emulating a normal Android phone you know or tablet you're just doing it on your PC and you're spoofing your location so you can pick your buddy obviously my buddy was already picked and you just use your WASD to walk around and click on use your mouse button and spin just like Knox I mean if you are used to using Knox then turn my AR off and let's see. I haven't used Knox in a while, so actually playing with this could be a little bit difficult. You got to get the hang of using a mouse button to uh, play on. But, anyways, there you go. Tauros caught. Cool. And I haven't really went into settings or preferences I'm not really gonna go into too much of that you can play around with that because basically this was just the general setup and how it works so it's just like playing on your phone guys you can use either you do need a gmail account to sign in to 
the blue stacks initially just like you would if you got a brand new Android phone but once you get past that and you get into Pokemon Go you can play with either a Gmail account or a PTC account I do highly suggest to not use your primary account use a throwaway account or use another account that you've been using as a burner type account there's always the chance there's always the possibility of getting flagged getting banned so just be aware there is that possibility but as in any type of location spoofing don't do it too quickly depending on how close the next location is to where you're at don't jump from New York to Los Angeles in a matter of a half an hour give it some time I just wanted to show you guys this it's really simple to set up um, all the links will be in the description including the how to get into the reg edit and which file that needs to be adjusted if you don't do that you're gonna know it right away because Pokemon Go will just lock up on you and if that does happen because you forgot that part just close it down and go in there and do that reg edit step so anyways guys I'm gonna continue to keep on looking there still are no truly safe bots out there I know people are pushing videos out this bot works that bot works yes they work but they're working on an old API based code 0 0.39.0 and above just has not been backwards engineered so if you are botting any current bots right now they're just not safe but anyways guys take care we're really really close uh, the giveaway is within like just 50 more subscribers and we'll be running the giveaway for the gift cards so if you're not a subscriber yet check out the link in the description for the giveaway get subscribed and uh, I will see you in the next video take care